Today, we're gonna cut open this coconut and turn it in from this to this. <laughs> Scrape the coconut, get all the husk off as much as we can. Adding a little water to the process will make this a bit more easy and bearable. So this is obviously going to take a little while to get as clean as possible, but it'll be up to you how you want to, how clean you'd like to get it. And at one point, you're probably just going to have to say that's enough. It's also a good idea to have the drain catch in place so you don't go and clog up your system at the same time. Now we have a semi, mostly clean coconut with very little husk left on it. I've done pretty much all I want to do with this at this stage. So all we need to do next is let it dry and then we will mark it off. So that we know where to cut. Now to get this thing open, we're going to opt to use a little extra power. I'm using a oscillating saw with just a standard blade on the top. I did clean it already just to get all the extra grease and drywall dust off. We're going to take that and we're going to attempt to stay along this line and cut it all the way around without cutting through the meat and having it leak and make a mess everywhere. We're going to follow it up with a a knife or some other serrated blade to cut it finally open but in order to not make a mess we're going to put it all in here just a church standard tray and away we go Here we go, We've got it cut open, cut, now we're just going to take a paring knife, just give it a whoa, what? here we go, here's our coconut, unfortunately it looks like it's bad, it smells a little off, but next we get to take out the meat and still keep the uh, coconut shell, just hold it there.
some stuff. No, the only thing left to do is wash this up, maybe sand it down lightly, and there we go. Two little coconut bowls.